Now this is what being a young adult is all about. Just like staying out, making irresponsible choices, being out with a vampire, and then having work in the morning right before a pandemic. <laughs> Hello, everyone, especially my 47 subscribers. Today we are back with the Bunker Boy Challenge. It's pretty much the last episode we just introduced you to the character that I'm playing with, Valentine. I'm just going to probably call him Val. He's a lazy slob who does not like children, and he's about to go through a pandemic. Let's get into the game. Alright, so, he just woke up. He, I believe, has work today. Yeah. He has work in two hours. So we're just going to let him run through, eat a little bit, get ready for work. Uh, and then, yeah, after he's done at work, I think our goal today is going to be uh, having him meet people from every world uh, and having a large group of friends so he doesn't have to be completely alone for quarantine or make him lonelier because he won't really be able to be around anybody. But it's giving us the option to play risky. Also, I'm aware that the graphics are a little bit trash right now. Um, yes, I had technical difficulties earlier trying to boost the graphics, and instead it just freaked out my entire system. Because I'm going to be uh, traveling around from world to world, I'm gonna just leave the graphics this way. Once we actually get into the pandemic and we won't be traveling so much, I'll boost up the graphics so we can actually see the nice, you know, bunker baron. Good on us for doing our job. At this point, we're gonna go do our reports, which means we have to go back. Hopefully there aren't any freaking kids. We'll fill, it, we'll fill out our reports and then we're going to go world by world and try and make at least like three friends from each place. Yeah, earlier I sat on the screen for about 40 minutes. Oh, great. I get dumped out right next to two children. <laughs> uh, it's five o'clock. Shouldn't you guys be home for dinner or something? I feel like that's very effeminate style clothing, but they have a goatee and their name is Hank. So yeah, we'll go ahead and meet Hank. All right. Hank and I are becoming friends. He decided he, he was okay with my friendship now. Uh, it must be the fact that he's an angry person and me being angry about being around children just gave us something really to bond over. Well, that's unfortunate. Who is Robbie and why does he look ripped? Are my reports almost done? Because I need to... Hello, who are you? Um, hello. El Fabia? We can meet Fabia. Or El, whatever she prefers to go by. <laughs> now that I'm talking to a pretty girl, I'm totally fine. <laughs> Uh, except about how tense I just got, because I'm not having fun, because I was just doing work. Alright, we learned that Elle is a space ranger. Oh, Buzz Lightyear. The Elle must be for Lightyear. Alright, that's two. I think we already know you, don't we? Yeah, Brody. Oh, we don't. Okay. Perfect. So we're meeting just a bunch of classy people that like literature. And we already know that he's a librarian, but we'll still ask about his career, because... You know, we, uh, we just can't tell sometimes. You can't judge everybody. It's like when you go into Target and there's someone wearing, like, khakis and a, and a red polo. Like, you can't just assume that they work there. But you kind of think it. All right, we know that Brody is creative and... Oh, look, that he's a librarian at Willow Creek Archive. Perfect. I'm also going to do this one, call someone on the phone. All right, we sufficiently met three people here. We met... L Lightyear girl, Brody, and what's his face? Hank. Even though we didn't learn anything about Hank. Let's go to Oasis Springs, and we'll go somewhere a little bit more fun. A gym. Oh god, change. Hang on, for anything, change your outfit. All right, and he really has to go to the bathroom, so let's take care of some of these needs real quick. And, oh, well, hello there. Look who it is. It's Daryl again, running with, uh, Kane. I wonder if that's part of her training routine, is that they have to wear the same red hoodie. All right, Kane, let's actually get to know each other now. Let's be friends. Let's ask about your career. Let's get to know you a little bit. I know that you're a gym trainer, but 
can't just assume. You have to actually ask, because that's how Sims is. Oh, she does not like me. I mean, it seems like she likes me, but... And it says we're having a pleasant conversation, but she just, uh... Had my face in a... In a no-go circle. And she just walks away, because she's a rude. I think I already know these two. Yeah, Dawn and Robbie. Who else is here that's not creepily, like, in the bathroom? I think we already met Bella Goth. I don't think we met Nancy. Nancy's just a good go-to in all of the games for me. <laughs> we'll ask about her career. We're talking about pranking, which is perfect for her, because, you know, as a mob wife, yep, minor crime lord at mob wives, <laughs> pranks with her go real far. And we've learned that Nancy is materialistic. Okay, hello, Robbie. Do I know anything about Mr. Robbie? No, just that he's a young adult. Okay, let's get to know you just, just a smidge. I don't think that I like him very much. I don't know why. I just have some, like, just a feeling I'm getting. Just he's putting off the wrong vibes. Oh, maybe because he walks away from me like a jerk. Like a joik. All right, hello. Who are you? Grace Anansi? Sure, why not? Let's ask you about your career. It doesn't look like you work for the gym. Wow, that sounded really a lot more rude than I meant it to. Uh, she is a live chat support agent at Rainy Day Entertainment. Okay. And that's it. They won't continue talking to me long enough for me to actually uh, get to know anything about them. So, yes, it is 3 o'clock. That is the witching hour, so I think I know where we're going to head next. Well, I guess witching hour. I probably should have actually gone to the... To, well, the place with actual witches, but who cares? Who cares? Are these all just residential? Do I have to be a weirdo? I think I have to be a weirdo. Let's, let's just check this out. I honestly haven't checked out any of uh, Forgotten Hollow yet. Uh, they're all residential lots, so hopefully once we have meet whoever's here, we can then uh, at least, like, use their bathroom, maybe rest for a little bit, <laughs> do any of the things, probably not eat, because, you know, vampires and eating doesn't, doesn't really compute. Hello. There's a bunch of garlic here. Oh, no one lives here. Oh, so I'm just being a creep, just checking out. I'm about to, like, pass out, so I'm going to nap lazily for a minute. Hopefully no one does anything while I'm napping. You know, like, feasts on my blood. Oh, hello. Okay, the sun is slightly up. Who are you? Caleb. Yeah, let's meet you. Um, let's ask about what you do for a living, if you're alive. He's a sales floor clerk at... Kirk? Clerk at the Bymart Shack Company, Inc. Perfect. Hey, no, 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 no. We're not that tired. We're gonna get to know our new friend here. Apparently, we can't really get to know him. Whoa, hello. You move faster than the speed of light. Do you live with anybody? Is there anyone else I can get to know here? Maybe a bet I can take a quick nap in because uh, I have to go to work in like two hours. Oh yes, hello. You, uh, yeah, you look like you have all your marbles together. Lilith. Yeah, I'm going to work tired and hungry. Oh dang it, I gotta, gotta go to work. All right, well, we met two. All right, well, I met three people in two worlds. Two people in one. Uh, we still have one more world to visit. All right, and he's off to work. Ooh, and he went in desperate need of some sleep, shower, he was hungry, and he had no fun. Oh, but he was promoted to the office assistant. Let's clean you up a little bit, then we gotta go back to Forgotten Hollow. All right, we're gonna speed through him getting all of this stuff done. Then once he wakes up from his nap and eats, we are heading back to Forgotten Hollow. So I'll probably skip to that. So I will see you guys then. All right, so uh, it's the middle of the night. <laughs> it's uh, 1.24 to be exact. And we just got a text message from Vladislav. Hey, wait, can I bring my old messages back up, please? Yeah, just uh, welcoming us to the neighborhood and saying that we had a delicious snack. Lovely. I, oh, hello, hello, hello. Um, hello. Please, please vacate the premises. 
I don't want you here. Thank you. Go away. What the heck? What on earth? What did I just bear witness to? I- ooh. Seriously, that's like one of my worst fears. Is like... I don't know. Having someone like be outside my house and me like wake up and just see that. Just realize that someone's just like out there being creepy, trolling me, whatever. This guy is so lazy, he apparently does not flush, which is absolutely disgusting. See, he is, wow, he truly is a slob. Just leaves dishes everywhere. I'm glad that DJ is not around because uh, I do that too. Let's actually go to Forgotten Hollow and see if we can make another friend. Maybe let's go confront Vlad, because I assume he lives there. Be like, hey, uh, you know how you were creeping outside my house? Maybe don't do that anymore. Thanks, Preesh. Okay, perfect. Now, Mr. Vlad. Mr. Vlad, it is the morning time. I know that you gotta be getting inside pretty darn soon. So let's actually meet. I don't know actually why I did that in a positive manner, because I do not like this man. <laughs> I don't like people that creep outside my house. We'll ask about his job, though. Uh, he's unemployed, big shock. Uh, let's actually just, like, prank him. See how that rolls over with him. Oh, he's uncomfortable. Gee, I can't imagine why. I'm gonna see how long I can keep him out in the sun. Cause yeah, look at that, he is burning. He is a burning in the sun. Excuse the car noises. All right, we're gonna see how long we can keep him outside. No, 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 you get back over here. You get back over here and talk to me. I wanted to try and have him burn in front of me, that way he would stop coming outside my house. Honestly, I'm just wasting time a little bit, because I still have one whole other world to go to, and uh, we only have two days left till the pandemic, because pandemic starts Friday and it is Wednesday. All right, all right, oh gosh, I totally forgot to do reports and do charisma skills. Well, whatever. All right, off to work and then back from work. All right, yeah, so we'll go ahead and let him sleep for a hot minute. Then we have to uh, go to, uh, oh, the other world that we haven't gone to yet that I am forgetting at the moment. All right, we'll get him a shower too. Caleb wants us to hang out. Uh, you know what, actually, sure. We're getting off topic again. Well, hello, Caleb. Let's get to know you real quick. We know that he's a foodie, which is really ironic. Uh, especially because that little icon was him just talking trash about food. I guess about pizza. I'm gonna ask if he wants to travel with me then. Oh, perfect. We're already hanging out, so we'll travel together. At midnight. Now this is what being a young adult is all about, just like staying out, making irresponsible choices, being out with a vampire, and then having work in the morning right before a pandemic. <laughs> On the bright side, if Caleb and I are friends, I don't really have to worry about him getting sick. Glimmerbrook. That was it. That's, that's where I was thinking. Yeah, and then there's a bar, Elixirs and Brews, that we'll go to right now. And then we'll just meet three people here. He'll go home, and that'll probably be that. All right, let's go inside and meet some people. Perfect, and there's three people right here. Let's uh, meet Remington Quigley. Oh, that's funny. I don't know if it's our, hello, he moves quick. Um, I don't know what it's actually from. I know that Quigley is probably a reference to something else, but whenever I think about that, I think about the, oh no. All right, all right, all right. Um, so yeah, when I think of Quigley, it makes me think of the uh, old Sabrina the Animated Series. Let's ask about your career, and then get to know. He does not seem enthused about his job, and it doesn't... It's not telling me anything about him. Okay. He's a bar regular. That's his job? <laughs> he just goes to a bar? Regularly? So I know that he also likes drinking. So his profession is a drunk. Cool. Um, as interesting as that is, yes, I think I'm gonna meet this guy now. Tomax. Who's stepping behind the bar, so... Oh, he's a writer's assistant. Okay. 
Okay, well, this is going well. We're actually, like, having an engaging conversation with each other. Now, if only he'd, like, let me know anything else about him. No one's really into giving me any information about them. Granted, first time meeting, probably not a lot of people just open up. Okay, it looks like the only other person that there is to meet here is uh, Caroline, the bartender. So we'll go ahead and go with that. And with that, we'll have uh, completed what we'd set out to do today. So let's just learn a little bit about her. And then we can go home and get ready for work. Because it's 4 a.m. We're at a bar, and we work at 7. Caroline is cheerful. And then, uh, obviously, she's a mixologist. Perfect, cool. Is there anyone else here that I could meet, that I could interact with? Nope. Because what else do you really expect? Well, hello there. Minerva Charm. Oh, she must be related to, uh... Daryl. Darren. She's a module cleaner at Space Y. Okay, was not expecting that. But I mean, I guess I could see it. Oh god, I reek. I'm at a bar and I reek. I'm trying to make friends and I'm... I'm flirting. Well, I guess I'm being playful, but an old woman is being flirty with me. Oh, she's family-oriented. Honey, it's not your age. It's the fact that you're family-oriented and I just hate kids. It would never work. That and I gotta get going home. <laughs> Alright, he has work in just a couple hours. He desperately needs a shower. He probably is really hungry because uh, all he ate was some chips all night. Oh, we never even said bye to Caleb. Eh, whatever. Is what it is. And then I'm assuming he's probably tired. Yeah, he's definitely tired. We won't have enough time for a nap, unfortunately. But yep, this will be his uh, his last day at work, starting Friday. Pandemic starts. So, I think in the next episode we will start building our basement and uh, prepping ourselves for the pandemic. We gotta get a couple supplies. And just like in real life, most people waited until the pandemic was officially announced to get supplies. So guess we'll be flipping some coins next episode. But if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and leave a like. Comment below how you're enjoying the series. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, or if you're not new and just haven't subscribed yet. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!